What is going on gamers? It is Ice Creamy aka also known as Joke Joker and today I wanted to do a video that dives deep in depth of the red combat specialty. My goal at the end of this video would be for you guys to know if you don't already that is know why you should use this specialty, how you should use this specialty, and when you should use this specialty. Also, who should be using using this specialty in which way you guys should go, whether it's right, left, or up. Um, I am going to do an experiment, as you will learn in this video. I'm going to go ahead and um, reset before the weekend my specialty. In my case, I'm going to be going down to the left, and I'll tell you guys why. So, you've been watching my other videos. You've seen a little bit, I'm not quite super in-depth, about the blue, the green, and then the red specialties. And thank you guys, um, for those of you who have commented, and also those of you who are in my alliance who watch these these videos and then have suggestions for me, thank you so much. I really appreciate that because, like I've said many times before, I'm still learning, man, and I don't know everything into this game. So I've learned just a couple of things from you, and today I'm going to tell you guys you know, that I learned why you would go up, and I'm going to explain why you would, in this case, go up um, today. So let's dive right in. You have your three specialties, one of which to the right is going to be your combat specialty. You have three different pathways, major pathways, to go, whether that's going to be up, to the left, or down here to the right. And it's very, very simple um, the way that you need to look at this. If you are a tile fighter, say you're in Doomsday and you have a bunch of purple tiles, as, as an example, we have this darn alliance, um, level 8, they're not super strong, but they're just pesky little rats. And then we have another uh, another, uh, another alliance. Um, their name is Pri, P-R-I. They're like super, super alliance. And they're freaking five to ten of these bad boys are maxed. And so it's really hard. They're anyways, they're, they're, they're putting a lot of purple tiles in our state. Obviously, boom, right there. Look at this kill count, 378. Jeez. Um, they're putting a lot of tiles in our, our state, and we've we've been in many situations, like the recent tile, where we wanted to defend our tiles, and I couldn't do it. Pretty much no one in my alliance could, and even with our president being um, maxed, his base is maxed, um, he still wasn't able to take the, uh, the tiles or to reinforce the tiles successfully, and he has a maxed base. Well, here's why. Because he wasn't using this, these pathways are going up. So if you are a tile fighter... And you frequently um, reinforce tiles. Maybe it's for kills, or maybe it's because you know you have a little amount of tiles uh, for a little amount of enemy tiles in the state, and you're you know very adamant on not having any. You reinforce your tiles. You take them ba take them back. The enemy moves out. Um, long story short, if you want to go up, you're going to go up, and this is going to be effective. This skill set is going to be effective in tile wars and it's only going to be effective in tile wars too you have one pathway up to the north and then you have three pathways to get all the way up to and which pathway you use is just going to be dependent on which troop um, troop style you're using as an example if you're going to go up in the middle it's only going to be for shooters if you go to the right, it's going to be for vehicles. And if you go to the left, it's going to be for fighters. And you're going to see that commonality here between all of the different major pathways, whether it's to the right, to the left, or up. There's going to be a tree for shooters, a tree for fighters, and a tree for vehicles as well. So if your primary usage in defending tiles, or say your strongest APC is a shooter APC, you might want to consider just going up to the middle. If you're running vehicles, you have the Three Sisters or Panther, Panther Anna Ivan or like um, Caesar Anna Ivan or something super strong like that, you'd probably want to go um, to the right here as well. Um, and this is what exactly happened to, to our president. Say Nuxus, he was trying to reinforce these tiles. He wasn't really having so much success even though he has a max base. Um, little did we know, he, was, <laughs> he didn't really go up. So he reset his specialty levels. Um, I'm sorry, he reset his specialty points, and he went, he went up and to the right because he uses fighters and vehicles a lot. 
and it made a total difference, man. He was able to knock out people's APCs, and it just helped him a lot. So I'm not going to do that because although I may feel strong um, in our bracket right now, uh, we're not doing great, um, but in our bracket, we have some killer, killer alliances. So I spoke about pre before. We have pre um, and then level eight, WFJ, um, the, the pre guys, they're like, they're like ants, man. They come in and they've tiled our, our state so much that it's really hard to come back from. And we were having a hard time because they have about 10 maxed out bases with the three sisters, with Panther and Ivan, and then with your even strong shooter formations like Wings, Inquisitor, Ex Executioner. Those are so hard to beat right now. It's so hard. So it's tough for us to, uh, to, to start ranking high. Um, we need some more active players. And anyways, that's kind of aside from the point. But with that said, Pri is super strong. It doesn't, what the heck, it doesn't make sense for us to, or for me, you know, I don't have season three heroes. It doesn't make sense for me to go up. Um, they're still going to kick my butt in these tiles because their bases have way better technology than mine. And that's okay. That's part of this game. You know, some people spend for, for high, high level bases and strong bases. And some people are a little bit more advanced naturally. And that's just the way it is. It's a war game and not everybody is the same. People uh, have different strategies and they take different amounts of time to, to grow. And that's totally okay. So if you go dive in deep, deep, deeper into this, you have your pathway, your up, um, your up pathway. You can go to the right, middle, or left, like I said before, dependent on which um, troop style you're using. But even in these individual pathways, say for shooters or something too, you, uh, your first one is always going to be resistance, resistance, resistance. These are always going to be damage, damage dealt, and damage div, uh, given. Um, and then if you go to the right, it's going to be might in this case. So you would have uh, resistance, might, might, or resistance, resistance, might. Resistance, might, might, or resistance, resistance, might. And it's going to be the same on each of these pathways too. So you have uh, resistance, might, might, resistance, resistance, might. Um, so you can even take a, a, a deeper look into those and decide, okay, well, you know, my APC is a might monster, so why don't I go for a little bit more resistance? Um, unless I have enough specialty points to unlock, you know, every single side of these as well, which would be amazing. But right now, um, I don't, so I'm not going to do that. And this is not going to be my specialty because... I, I just don't have the heroes to be reinforcing these maxed out bases, uh, to be reinforcing these tiles when maxed out bases are attacking me. It just doesn't make sense. So I hope that explains a little bit about why you would want to go up. Uh, I actually just recently learned this. Thank you guys for uh, kind of uh, bringing me that knowledge. Like I said, you know, I'm still learning, and that's just the way it is. Thank you guys. Um, I can tell you, though, exactly why you would want to use this is when you're uh, a tiler or a tile defender and maybe you're like the uh, the alliance reinforcer to kick people off of tiles and you have your you know you, you have more solid or probably solid one of the if you have the best heroes in your your alliance you'll probably want to use this if you're active in in D dd and you're looking for a lot of kills um, or you're the only one that can kick other people's APCs, enemies' APCs, out of the, the tiles. This is when you would want to utilize this. It makes total sense now. Um, these skills up here are going to be... Uh, we talked about them a little bit uh, last video. You're going to be able to place two banners. Uh, this one lasts 30 minutes. Um, <clears throat> tar uh, targets within five tile range are going to take 10% more demolition damage. Um, and then targets within a five tile range for 30 minutes are going to have negative 10%. In this case, uh, maxed out, it would be negative 50% on APC. That's pretty cool because you can drop a banner. If you're in a tile fight, you're strong, you're reinforcing your tiles based on whatever, you know, primary usage APC units are. And then you're also forcing the enemy to use a lot more durability. So they're going to tire out pretty quickly. Um, you're going to hold your tile down, going to get some kills and you're going to be a beast. Um, but that's that. That's when you would want to use that if you're a reinforcer. Let's talk about the others. So we can scroll down here, and you have to the right, and you have to the left. And these are pretty self-explanatory. Um, 
and complete offices of each other. If you are an attacker, and you got to know that these will be in effect, these will be effective on kill event two. So not just like wars between alliances within your state or whatever. When you are attacking somebody, say on Saturday or on Friday night, in my case, we'll just say this for, uh, for ease of uh, uh, ex- explanation, during kill event and during free development day, you can attack people. If you are attacking people, it would make the most sense for you to go to the right if you are actively sieging people. If you are not actively sieging people and you have this skill enabled, say siege might, it's only siege might and siege resistance. So that means when you are sieging, not when you are defending, aka being attacked. So if you are attacking and doing a lot of attacking on um, kill event or free development day, this would be for you. And again, here's the commonality. You have your vehicles, you have your shooters, and then up top you have your fighters. Depending on, say, if I'm using, in this case, vehicles, maybe my vehicle might is uh, lower and my vehicle resistance is higher. Well, maybe I want a higher might to equal that APC out. Well, instead of going up, I would go down. So it would be resistance, resistance, I'm sorry, resistance... Oh man, I'm confusing myself. I would go resistance, resistance, might. And there's always going to be one on here in this case. This is going to be might. That's going to be might. That's going to be might as well. So you would go resistance, might, might. Resistance, resistance, might. Resistance, resistance, might. Resistance, resistance, might. That's a tongue twister. Now, maybe you have a a solid um, defense uh, set up and your defense numbers are super high, um, but you want a higher might when you are actively attacking, then you would just go down. You'd go resistance, might, might, resistance, might, might. Um, I wish it was resistance, resist, resistance, 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 but that would prob- probably be a little too overpowering. Um, and then in here, same thing, you have your damage taken and your damage dealt. If you make your way all the way down, you have your active skills, which are pretty fun um, as you go down to the right. You have Taunt, which is just going to give you a 30% Might increase for 30 minutes. So this is like essentially um, a little bit of like that, like I said last time and in, in when I was explaining some of these, your your Justice buff, it's going to bring you just between a Justice and a Presidential buff. Um, 30% increase in Might is super good. It's really good. Pair that with, you know, you have um, Resistance, might, might, so you have 612, 612, 612, 12, 24, 36, plus this skill when it's active is um, another 30, so you have 66% might, but only when you're attacking other people. But that's a pretty good increase in your might, guys. That's going to be a baller, baller chance to really break through some bases, um, as long as you obviously, you know, pick them wisely. You have your taunt. You have your middle one, which is going to be a missile. So in this case, um, an example, I wasted about 15,000 chips the other day when I was having a mini tile war with this other person from the Level 8 Alliance. It was the worst idea I ever had. I just got antsy and wanted to missile this dude. But I wasted like 15, 20,000 chips because he just, all he did was just, he must have had a bunch of chips too, but all he did was just remake anti-missiles so i spent 12 missiles um and you can do that math i'm not exactly sure how many chips it it, it came out to be but i wasted 12 missiles on that foo and not even a scratch so i wasted tons and tons of chips that put me behind in my combat speed buildings and now i'm gonna have probably a a two-day delay in starting um my missiles and working towards and i'm working this is one of my goals now um is to work towards my gas missiles so that was kind of a waste in that case if you do end up going down into the right if you notice when firing a missile strike 50 percent chance to do a direct hit last 30 minutes two hour cooldown this is only going to last um only last 30 minutes two hour cooldown unfortunately You'll have a fifty percent hit for a fifty percent chance for a direct strike. So instead of dealing with a bunch of anti missiles um, with this skill enabled, you have a fifty, which is pretty good, a fifty percent chance in 
direct hitting that damn base and then uh, doing some damage to them, which is awesome because that means you don't have to deal with um, their anti-missiles and you don't have to waste, um, ideally, hopefully, you know, hopefully the 50% works, um, but you wouldn't have to waste a ton of of chips to, you know, blast through all their dang anti-missiles and you have this skill down here which is going to become uh you become invisible uh, 60 minutes duration two hour cooldown you know when that green when you attack somebody there shows a green line that green line is going to be gone and when they're reading your battle reports they're not going to be able to see your name they're not going to be able to see your location any of your information it's kind of like you're a, a little ninja so overview um so we're going back if you are a uh, active tiler and an active defender when you're tiling or you're always the one you know there's one of the stronger ones in your alliance and you're trying to kick people off or the enemy off of, of their tiles so you can push push forward this would be the one for you down to the right if you're active in say the kill event or free development day and you choose a um kill units as your free development task this would be the one for you depending on what unit you're using would dictate which pathway you choose and even in the the specific units say um, fighter pathways if your apc specs your stats say that you have more resistance or more um might you can make the choice and it's your choice obviously to go for might and or resistance this pathway to the right only works when you are sieging other bases. When you are being attacked, you will not get these buffs. Outside of defending tiles, you will not get these buffs. And then which brings us to our last side of the tree, and that's going to be going left. Um, this is going to be for specifically defending and when you would want to use this is an example of like something when I was what I was doing what I was doing last weekend in the kill event. So if you saw my kill event video, you would have noticed that um, I let a bunch of people attack me. And you can see that in my battle reports, I got basically um, I got basically oh, I was doing some tile doing some points exchanges there um look at this defense 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 attack defense 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 so what i would do if you saw my my video you, you know this is i i went in i poured i poured it in and with one of my apcs i went ahead and attacked the enemy and then i kind of just sat there and let them uh, attack me um, unfortunately i made the uh, early on mistake of keeping my shooters so i defended with this but i accidentally kept 325,000 shooters in this APC so I kept trying to refill this and I would run out of troops because I didn't obviously have that many troops I would run out of troops like super fast so then I like then I lost a couple of battles and I was like wait a second I shouldn't be losing these battles what am I doing wrong well it's because I had all my shooters and reserves in this APC so I don't use this or this APC in the kill event yet because um, I don't have uh, a ton of troops and the other troops i do this is my stronger apc i and um the other troops i do have i want to be able to use and automatically refresh very quickly um you know for at least a few attacks before i teleport out and and uh um you know refill them i don't want my max my hospitals will max out is what i'm trying to say and your hospitals will max out too so if you don't teleport out eventually you're going to kill some soldiers um you're going to kill more than you want and it's going to be a little tough so anyways back to um the specialty so this is my plan this week um in about let's say as soon as i get to level 43 specialty i'm going to reset because i bought the uh, doomsday investment package i get a free reset i'm going to reset and i'm going to go down to the left um Here's how it exactly it would work. Say, uh, I poured in, I poured in, I attack somebody, and I'm gonna sit there for a minute, and I'm just gonna let my let my base um, uh, get punched a couple times, and I'm confident um, that it will work for the most part pretty well, because if you saw my video from the kill event last week, you would notice that we were up against state five. Um, we were five twenty two. We were up against state seven hundred. And 
I mean, if this puts it into perspective too, you can go into the battle report. Um, here's defense reports. I think I was giving some points away to, yep, I was giving points away to those guys. Um, let's see, I was trying to find the strongest one. Their president attacked me, and it was, oh man, there it is. This was their president, and I could tell, this is 533 president, he had Panther, um, Sergi, and Ivan, which is pretty good APC. You can tell he's a president because of this, whoops, of the official position. I can't click on it. It says official position, 50%, and then the defense is going to be another 50% as well. I never actually looked at this battle report in depth. I'd be curious to know. Oh, yeah, he was almost all maxed out. Oh, man, missing a couple of skills on Ivan, though. That's why he lost. Um, anyways, so here's what I want to do. I want to go down to the left. As you know, I typically defend with my shooters. Um, I'm going to defend with my shooters again this weekend because it takes a ton of speed-ups um, to utilize them in attacks, and I don't want to defend my base with a lesser strong, say, my vehicles. I have great heroes. Um you know, not not the three sisters, not Panther and Ivan, but for what I have, it's pretty good. Um, but I want to attack with those because it's a quicker attack. I have more chances of of reaching that base in a quickly, in a quicker time fashion, um, um, and using less speed ups than I would using shooters. So I'm gonna defend with my shooters. This week we're up against State Five. Um, so, sorry, State Seven Thirty Three, and I did some reconnaissance, um, and I'll show you guys how to do that very quickly. Type it in, 733, there you go, click official position, you can go to their heroes and you can see their president, click on this, they have, a, I, I typically, and it's not the best way to do it, but I typically go off of kills, if they have as many kills as me or more, um, if they have as many kills as me, I'll probably always attack them, if they have less kills, I'll always attack them, although, disclaimer, just because they have a low amount of kills does not mean that you will win. I have lost plenty of battles to people with less kills. But what I do know is that State 733 is only in Season 2 of of um, Doomsday. So that gives me a really good chance at, at, at more than likely beating the majority of their state. Because I know I have solid Season 1 and, a, and 1 or 2 um, solid Season 2 heroes, but I think I'll stand a good chance. And then you can click on their justice, which is probably going to be their second strongest, and their chief, which is going to be their second or third strongest. So they, they don't have a lot of kills. they got a lot of power. Yeah, power is just a lot of troops, nothing special. And then you can go over, uh, oh shoot, where is it? Go over here to the right and the bottom right here. You can see their top three alliances. They, they're doing work. They're in um, a newer state than us. But compared to our alliance power, which is in the two millions, um, they're not that strong. So they have some high, uh, so have some heavy hitters, but long story short, what I'm getting at is that I don't think they're going to be as strong as state 700. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, in a couple days, like I said, when I get that 43rd specialty point, I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to use shooters and I'm going to focus on, um, defense as much as possible because if you notice i should have kept that battle report open but if you notice that battle report i want to pull it up one more time there we go if you notice that battle report even against their president I, my might was good my might was even even uh higher than his but my defense lacked a little bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bump my defense up and and uh defense siege defense resistance means that Basically, I'm going to take less damage from them. If I was might, that would mean I'm going to take. Mo I'm going to give more damage. Um, resistance, I can take more more hits. Like Floyd May Mayweather, I can take a punch. I can take multiple punches, and I'll be able to hang in there while three, four, five bases are attacking me, and then I attack one or two of them, um, and smash them. So I'm going to go middle for shooters, and I'm going to go resistance resistance unfortunately i have to do one might but that's okay so it'll be resistance for six 12 and then might for six as you know this is going to be damage taken this is going to be damage given so it's going to be 12 um sorry, six 12 6 12 6 12 so 12 24 36 
defense, siege defense resistance, and 6, 12, 18 might. My might is going to increase 18% when I'm being attacked only, and then 12, 24, 36% increase in defense when I'm being attacked only as well. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to use this skill up here or this bottom skill right here. Up top, if your defending troop count is 1 and it's maxed out, your, your might is going to increase 10%. So if you have at least, and to my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you have at least one troop defending um, in your APC, you're going to get that buff. This one I like because it's resistance and I want to try out a full resistance um, spec, but here's the only kicker with this one. It says when your current wall durability is above 90%, your unit's resistance is plus 10. So that would be 12, 24, 36... 46% increase in siege defense resistance. When I'm being attacked, I would have 46% increase in resistance. That is almost the equivalent of a 50% increase in resistance presidential buff. That's insane. So my might, yes, 6, 12, 18, it will increase, but not as much as my defense resistance. So I think I'm biased right now towards trying to go resistance wise down here. However, if I'm not diligent, it's going to take one attack, one well-placed attack for me to probably go down to 80 or 85 percent resistance in which this will not be effective. This will be effective, however, if I do go ahead and go to my garrison and I heal, but there's going to be that 30 second um cooldown period between when I can heal and when I can heal again. So I might have to hide out for a minute if I want this extra buff. So then there's this middle one where it's, just, it's called a switch rooney, kind of fun. I only have enough to max this one out, 43 points. Um, if I did the math correctly, I don't have any, uh, any, any more points to unlock this one. But if I did, it would be when your city wall durability is lower than 80% and it pairs well, perfectly well with this bottom one right here. When your city wall durability is lower than 80%, you have a 60% chance to trigger a random teleport and escape. Two cooldown, I don't know what that means. Um, two times or two attacks cooldown would be my guess. But this would pair super well. So say your your focus is on resistance. Um, you're, you've increased your resistance 46%, but somebody attacks you. Well, if they attack you, chances are you're probably going to go down to at least 80 um, 80% durability, if not a little bit lower. So then you have, you're, you're, you're attacked and automatically, if you go down below 80%, automatically without touching one button, you have a 60% chance to trigger a random teleport. So I know a bunch of people that go to the right because they're attackers. But my idea, and I'll share this with you, is to attack in kill event and... Um, you know, free development day, it costs so much teleports. And in my case, because I use shooters, it costs so much um, speed ups, so much teleports and so much RSS that I don't want to try that this weekend. Because like last weekend, if, if 733 is any similar, um, and who knows if it will be, um, they, have a, they had a ton of people that attacked. Uh, basically, you know, I would, I would come in and I would attack somebody and I would sit there and Actually, you know, multiple bases would come in and try to attack me. So I'm going to, I'm going to be lazy. I'm going to, I'm going to play and I'm going to defend. I'm going to teleport in and I'll attack, you know, obviously with my vehicles, I'll be attacking people and I'll probably win a couple, I'll probably lose a couple, but my main goal is going to be to teleport in to attack somebody, and then it's going to show up on state news, they're going to come in in packs, and they're going to attack me, but I'll be ready for them, I'll be ready, because my resistance is going to be significantly higher, and my might will be a little bit higher, um, but I'll be ready for them, and I'll do this on purpose a couple days before reset, um, that way I can do this, I can come in, I don't have to waste, you know, at too many um, advanced teleports or random teleports. Um, I don't have to waste diamonds on buying them. I don't have to waste diamonds on, um, purchasing speed ups. As you know, uh, shooters are super slow. So where I can port in and in, in less than two seconds, attack somebody with a, with my vehicles, I don't even have to use speed ups. Um, 
I would just sit there and save one, two, three, f- three or four speed ups per attack, which is equivalent of like, uh, let's do the math here. Each speed up costs you a thousand dollars if you're using fifty percent. Say you use four of them, that's four thousand diamonds per attack, and I attack say ten times minimum in kill event. You saw the battle reports. That was a that was a lot of reports. Um, say you, you attack 10,000, um, 10 times, it's going to cost you a minimum of 10,000 diamonds, if not more, just in speed ups alone, plus 10 tax, attacks means 10 teleports, you can't use the random teleports when somebody's attacking you, chances are you're probably going to have to use 10 advanced teleports, that's 20 times 10, that's 20,000, plus another 30,000, that's 30,000 diamonds, um, before you have even enabled any of your other buffs, so they're pretty crazy. So, again, long story short, what you would want to use this this for, going down to the left, is only if your primary, um, I guess you would say your primary action in Doomsday, um, in Kill Event, and Free Development Day would be to play defense. And it's just a different strategy. I know a lot of people go for attacks, but this time, I'm going to experiment for myself and for you guys. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go heavy, heavy, heavy on resistance so I can last it a bit, a little bit longer. Floyd Mayweather, I can take a bunch of punches, and then I can dish out some heavy punches um, as well while they're attacking. I have a good feeling about it. I'm not going to be naive and think that I'm going to be the strongest one in um, in, in their doom, in the uh, kill event. I'm probably going to get beat one or two times, um, maybe more. We'll see how it happens. Um, but I'm going to try this. So to recap, we have our combat specialty. If you want to go up, you're going to go up because you're constantly reinforcing tiles or kicking the enemy off of their tiles in wars if you want to go to the right you're an attacker you like to attack you poured in a ton of times in the kill event like our president he pours in he attacks he pours in he attacks this would be you and you can use that taunt invisibility and um, missile you know if you go this way as well which is awesome those are great buffs but i however i'm going to defend i'm going to be lazy I'm going to test out my defense walls. I'm going to let a bunch of people attack me. I'm going to make sure <laughs> in this time, in this case, that I don't have any um, shooters in these APCs. Just in this one, one defense only. And we're going to go from there. So that's going to be my strategy. That's why you would use down to the left. That's why you would use down uh, up. And that's why you would use to the right. And to the right versus to the left, guys, they're pretty much identical. You just got to figure out, do you, are you... Are you an attacker or are you a defender? And I encourage you to to mess around with them. Um, if you're just starting Doomsday and you don't have uh, enough to you know go all the way down, I'm still working on it too. Um, just do what you can. Chances are, if you're new to Doomsday and you don't have a ton of specialty points, well, likely a ton of people in your bracket won't either. So. Whereas I probably have a similar, maybe a little bit lower amount than most of the people in my my alliance. Um, It'll be fairly close, so it'll be fairly equal. So, down to the left if you're defending, or you want to defend. If you're defending, this will work. These buffs will work. If you're attacking, these buffs will not work. If you are an attacker, go to the right. If you are attacking, these these buffs will be enabled. If you are defending, these buffs will not be enabled. If you are being attacked, these buffs will not work. Um, you have three different pathways depending on which unit your uh, strongest APC is, and that's what I would base it on is your strongest APC, and then up um, or down versus if you want to focus more on might or if you want to focus more on um, on resistance. Um, in my case, I want to focus on resistance. I want to try it out and see what it does, and we'll report back uh, with some good battle reports and a nice kill event video this Friday. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm going to wrap it up here in a minute. Uh, I do want to give you, if you've tuned into this last, uh, last bit, I want to give you a, a, um, piece of advice. And my piece of advice is going to be in the honor. So if you are early on and you are new in Doomsday and trying to increase your specialty points pretty quickly, here's what I recommend. And I talked about this a little bit in my video, but guys, unlock, you know, a couple cues, re, you know, be able to process your materials quickly, but go for the honor skills. You can go all the way down and around and all the way up and around too once you've gone to the left, and that is a huge, so you have here um, 9, 18, 27, 36, 
45, 54, 63, um, 72, 80, oh, lost math. Anyways, near 100% increase in on or gain after upgrading a building or on our structure paired with this one. Another 100% increase for two hours paired with this one and uh, an extra amount. In my case, it's about 600000 in uh, honor instantly every single day. So you go 100% um, skill buff here, 100% um, skill um, here, and then you would go down here to honor increase and increase it for 30 minutes another 100% so that's a 300% increase in honor points that you would get by upgrading your structures and to give an example so I upgraded my level 19 um, virus factory to level 20 recently and it took me from like the start of this like all the way to here I did one or two buildings and it got me like over a quarter of the way there so that's huge and I didn't even have you know all of these screens enabled either so my tip is to invest and, and do it the right way. Um, accumulate a ton, a ton, a ton of resources and process a ton of resources and then do a little bit of a reset. Go for the honor, activate your bonuses and activate your honor bonus, activate your skills and then upgrade. And you should be able to accumulate um, honor points very quickly. And honor points, in my opinion, is one of the most crucial things that you can do to make your base a lot stronger, um, especially if you don't have heroes. Um, if you're, you know, you don't have season three heroes and you're in season, season season three, this is one of the best ways to become extremely strong is using this red specialty tree. Again, just depending on, um, you know, your strategy is just going to dictate which way you go. I encourage you to definitely mess around with either of them. But I hope this um, goes a little bit more in depth in the combat, the red specialty combat tree. I hope you guys learned something. Make sure, um, thank you for your support, first of all. Thank you so much for your, your support. I'm getting tons of views on my videos. I'm getting tons of growth um, and subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. Um, make sure to, if you're watching these videos, just do me a solid. Smash that like button. Um, smash that subscribe button. The more subscribers I have, the more videos I'm going to make. Um, if it ever gets to the point where I start monetizing, you know, on these videos, I'm going to start spending in this game and I'm going to show you guys what to spend on. We'll see what happens. But that was just an idea I had recently. Thank you guys so much for your support. Um, please continue to support me. Please subscribe if you have not already subscribed. Um, I will do another video on the blue. I will do another video on the green. But the most important one to me and to you right now um, should be combat specialty if your goal is to become seriously strong. I hope that explains it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, until next time, I'll be recording a kill event video and we'll talk about the results. Um, check out my kill event video from last week. Um, and then I did a recent video too of, um, oh shoot, I forgot. Anyways, thank you for tuning in until next time. Last shelter friends, family, I'm out. Peace.